going to be refilming the Get Your Freak On 15 Red Fat Tag. I actually filmed this like twice or three times already, but it was kind of weird. Not like, okay, I was rambling in it. Anyway, I'm so happy that people are actually subscribing to my channel because I have not made videos since the beginning of September. It has been like a month since I haven't actually put out a real video, a real like makeup or anything video. But I have done this look today. This is the look that like Mister was wearing, and I really liked it, so I decided I would try to recreate it. So, if you want to see that, I'll probably put an annotation right, like, here, so that you can see that. Thank you so much for subscribing, and I hope you enjoy this tag. I don't really have a nickname, but my, most, I guess, most of my family calls me Christine. Like, my dad calls me Christine, and my cousins call me Christine. Well, my name is Christina, but I don't mind because it's like short. It's, it's kind of shorter. Yeah, Christina. There's a lot to say. It's not just Christine. Um, my brother used to call me Tweety Bird, and another name, but I'm not saying that. <laughs> I have a lot of weird habits, I guess. Um, I know for sure that I give people a lot of strange looks. So if I okay, I take off my glasses so you can see it. If I see someone doing something really odd or whatever, I might do like this, like, what are you doing? Or you say something odd to me, or you just say something really random and it might be sometimes dumb, I'd be like, I tend to do that a lot. Um, but sometimes it's not always intentional, like in my videos, I might happen to say something silly and then I'm like, or some gel in that, but I usually edit it out because it looks really odd. Not really that weird. I don't really like certain insects. I'm not gonna call these insects. Not like spiders though. Like, I don't like spiders or... I don't like dragonflies, that's for sure. I don't like them because I feel like they're going to come into my ears and you know, like buzz straight into my head, into my ear and do something crazy. I don't like those are bees because it's so strange. Every time I come into, like, most of the time that I come into the kitchen at night, a bee comes in my kitchen. I, I totally do not get that. And I don't like bees because they freak me out because they're buzzing. I, I'm, like, scared that they're trying to kill me. I don't really, I don't know. I like a lot of songs, so any song that I'm in love with at the moment, I would totally blast and belt out. Like, I, I remember the weekend that Tears came out. I didn't even hear it, hear the, uh, not Tears came out, the video for Tears came out. And I didn't see the video yet, but I can't remember any song from um, hearing it before and also from on the, from the Rihanna show. And I would not stop singing it. I sang it the whole day in the um, car, wherever I was. But yeah. Whatever song I'm currently loving is what I'll be singing and blasting out. What am I currently loving? Valerie um, from the Glee 3D soundtrack. Oh my gosh. Love it. Me and my friend Ashley, we just, like, every time, yeah, together, some hope we just end up on Valerie. One of my biggest pet peeves is when someone has, like, a cold or flu or whatever, and they continue to share their germs with the world we do not want your germs i do not want your cold so please keep your germs to yourself and blow your nose in a tissue and throw it away like a friend of mine <clears throat> i'm not gonna call any names a friend of mine every time he has a cold everyone around him gets it because uh, well you know like you blow your nose in a tissue and you throw it away or you put it away and don't touch it or sanitize your hands or whatever. He just blows his nose, then he touches his bag, and then he does something else. I'm just like, hold up, I ain't touching your bag, and I ain't touching your stuff because you have not washed your hands, and you've been blowing them all day long. So I don't like when people share their germs. Right now, I'm swinging this brush around because I'm nervous doing this video. So I guess if I have things in my hand, I will 
keep playing with them on tilt. So right now I'm doing this, talking to you, I put on the brush. So I have to like, my hands fidget a lot. When I am nervous, I can get cold fingers, cold toes, and it can be really hot outside and I'm just like freezing right here, or my toes are freezing. What else? I forget a lot of words. I forget simple words all the time because I'm nervous. I sleep on the right side. So like, if you're walking in to the bed, it's on the right side. This is actually showing you the left side, right? But I guess, ah, uh, the right side. Yeah, the right side. You get what I mean. Well, in my household, we didn't really have stuffed animals because my sister, when she was younger, she had allergies, like dust allergies. So we more have dollies, um, Barbies, things like that. Not actually carpet or a lot of stuffed animals. So one of the first ones that I remember was this doll called my nanny. And people, I still have her. And like people who have seen her when I was like coming with Emily, like, she's scary. She's not scary, but she, she's not scary at all. It's just her eyes are like, com you know, completely blue. She used to like it when, when I was younger and um, all that stuff. She's just like a squishy, soft doll. And she would light up before, but I don't think she's scary or anything. Well, here in Barbados, we actually do not have a Starbucks. But when I go to the Italian coffee house, I always, or most of the time, order the cookies and cream frescante. Or if it's like Christmas, I would, I love to go in there when it's Christmas. I would order the peppermint, the peppermint frescante or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but it has chips of peppermint in the actual drink. And it's green, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Truthfully, I don't really practice my beauty rules, so when I get to this question, I will try to rem I am trying to think of something, but I don't really practice, I mean, don't really preach any rules, so, let me see. I guess, for the rules that I have heard, I know for one that I don't always take off my makeup when I come home, because I'm lazy. So, it's just like, Mm, I'll do it in a little bit. Uh, somewhere or uh, and that's all. Give me. I'll be laying down and just fall asleep or whatever, and I don't remove my makeup all the time. Or that rule where people are like, don't pull on your um eyes or whatever because then you get premature wrinkles. Come on, people. We're all gonna get old at some point, and I really don't think that will make much of a difference because in the climate of living anyway. It's easy to get wrinkles because of the constant sun. And yes, you could use sunblock, but it's only going to help so much. Well, I face to the water, whichever direction the water is in. That's where I'm facing, unless I'm washing my hair. And then I turn around and back it so I can get to the back. Right. Yes, I do actually. I am pretty flexible. Yes, I'm like, I don't know if I would call it double jointed or whatever, but I'm pretty flexible. I could split, if it was to stretch on whatever, like, if it was to stretch for a week, then it would split, like, easily the next week. Or, hmm, I could also put my legs up here if I wanted to, which I won't do in this video because that would be inappropriate. And, um, I could run my tongue. <laughs> That's not that weird, like. I think 80% of people could do that or something like that. Some number like that. Would you call Oreos as being bad or any like cookies? I love sweet stuff. I love sweet stuff. I also love, uh, let's just generalize this. I love junk food. Simply put, I love junk food and I will eat junk food every day if I could. But you know, you have to start yourself because then you get unhealthy and all that stuff so usually I try not I try not to go in places where there's junk food because I'm tempted to buy it as I said earlier I'm kind of lazy so if like when I come home 
I switch out of my clothes that I was wearing, or I, I don't stay in the clothes that I was wearing when I was out. So you come home, I would come home and I'd be in home clothes as we like to call them. Um, and if I happen to fall asleep, it's in those home clothes. It doesn't matter to me because it's my bed. I'm sleeping in it, and. If I actually feel like, like, you know, sometimes you feel a little special and like, hmm, come some pajamas. Funny thing is, I have a lot of pajamas, but I barely wear them because I just happen to fall asleep all the time. Recently, it has been meh. I will write it down here so that you know what I'm saying. It's like meh. So it's something, <laughs> actually me and my friend were joking about this the other day, me and my friend Brahmin. So, is it the perfect word to insert if you don't really know what to say? Feeling down? Meh. You feeling, um, food not tasting too good? Meh. It's just meh. Um, there was something else. It was really funny. Something that we said. It was like an ad. We were just joking around though. So, whatever the situation is, and it's not so great, it's not so bad either, you could just say meh. Um, so that's what I use. And I keep saying OMG a lot, or OMG double HKP, which is from just start 07. It's like stuck in my head. Yes, that is it for this weird facts tag. I hope you enjoy it. It looks like this is 15 minutes, so I have to edit this down because it's really long. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and subscribing. I want to thank everybody for subscribing. Like, seriously, I can't believe I even have subscribers. Like, amazing. I don't know. It's just so cool. Thank you for everybody that subscribed. I, I really can't believe I actually have over 100 subscribers to begin with. And then that people are still subscribing to me. It's just like, oh my gosh, amazing. It's soon actually going to be like a year that I was making videos on YouTube too in like December. Oh yeah, and it's still my birthday. Actually, it's October right now, so it's going to be my birthday in like 28 days. Awesome! 28th of October, so like, send gifts. Not really, but yeah, that'd be cool. Bye bye!